And he would just have so much charisma and shit. He had this thick ass mustache and this motherfucking thick ass beard, like goatee. He looked like motherfucking Denzel Washington from Training Day. <laughs> so I called the nigga Denzel Washington. He's like, oh, I fuck with that. And that's man, where I'm he got Denzel. it from. Huh? That's where he got okay. it from. I coined okay. it. But we was in the, in the, in the uh, Welcome to the Bay studio session. But it's on United Girl. You see, I filmed it everything. But yeah, I coined him. I said, Denzel Washington. He's like, Denzel Washington? I fuck with that. Yeah, yeah. I'm Denzel Washington, man. 65, 65. They're their own artists, but do you see like a little bit of uh, Shock G sprinkled in Mac Dre? Mm. Cause I feel Far like style wise, style wise, yes. style wise, and having fun. Yes. Yeah, yes, um, definitely, man. Um, cause cause Shock was a party animal and Dre was a party yeah. animal, and they have fun with the shit. It ain't so serious. Like niggas would be tough and serious. They having fun with the shit. Super fun with the shit and really like enjoying the shit. You know what I mean? Like some people take it as a job. Nah, they just do this shit because they love it. It's a difference. And when you love it, you're smiling, you're having fun, exactly. you're fucking with it. You know, it's a difference, bro. So them two brothers that loved it and love to have hella fun, hella fun, doing wild shit, like kid shit. Like you seen Mac Dre on Trill TV. He was embracing a little boat in his pool. You know what I mean? Kid shit. Like, yeah. nigga, like, like little kid shit. Nigga want to go play basketball. You know, still shit you, like you that. You on some of his biggest tracks too. You hey, know? hey, hey. Shout out to the Mac, man. Yeah. I mean, I, I think I seen the video. You guys was in the studio uh, on one of the tracks. Boss you know? Tycoon. Yeah, Boss yeah. Tycoon. And like you said, him just being himself. Being him, you know? bro. Um, he was so litty when we uh, was doing um, the song with Welcome Home, Messy Marv, too. Messy Marv just got out. But uh, when we did the song uh, Welcome to the Bay with me, Num, Messy Marv, and Mac Dre, I flew Mac Dre to L.A. So me, Num, and Dre is in the studio doing the whole shit together. Welcome to the Bay. And he would just have so much charisma and shit. He had this thick ass mustache and this motherfucking thick ass beard, like goatee. He looked like motherfucking Denzel Washington from Training Day. <laughs> so I called the nigga Denzel Washington. He's like, oh, I fuck with that, and man. That's where, from, huh? that's where he got it from, That's where he got it from. I coined okay. it, but we was in the, in the, in the uh, Welcome to the Bay studio session. But it's on United Girl. You see, I filmed it, everything. But yeah, I coined him. I said, Denzel Washington. He's like, Denzel Washington? I fuck with that. Yeah, yeah. I'm Denzel Washington, man. Next thing you know, he had the Denzel. Kilo just yeah. did an interview. He said he went out there fucking with Young Mouth. He came back on the <laughs> Denzel on. Washington shit. You feel me? So yeah, I coined that phrase. I was just joking around. You know what I mean? You Denzel Washington. That nigga said, for real? Yeah, I am Denzel Washington. They just ran with it. You know what I mean? They start coming up with all the little code names and shit. Every album, he had a different code name. You know what I mean? So yeah, he ran with that. You know what I mean? The little nicknames and shit. So yeah, Dre was very intricate with, with, with just catching on quick. Yeah. Super, like, pow. Either you're doing it first, or if he sees something, ah, I got it, and just level it up. <laughs> like, he'll do it better than you did it, you know what I mean? <laughs> between, between him and Keek, I mean, with the hyphy movement going down in the Bay, I mean, what did that, when that hyphy movement came about, how would you feel about it? I mean, when you just seen it all kind of just blow up. I mean, I, the I world it, was catching it, you know? A lot of people don't give, give credit to the dope game. The dope game is when... Keek, Jacka, Hustler, and Pretty Black, and and um, Bart, Bart from Three Times Crazy, they made the group Dope Gang. After that, Keek album come out with the Super Duper Hyphy. That so that drum and snare shit comes from the Dope Gang because the producer of the Dope Gang put out Keek album. Okay, that made that Super Duper Hyphy and White white t-shirt, blue jeans, and Nikes. That came from the same camp. So that started that. Then you got the Federation and Rick Rock and them coming. And then you got the team, you know what I mean? Yeah. And then you got, but that's later on, like when Dre and them already was Liddy. So you got Dre, you got something terrible. You got um, the, uh, the Cutthroat Committee. You got, um, and then you got all the, all the my figures because Hustler was over there. Ryder J. Clyde was over there. You got Jacka was over there. And then you got um, three times because you had Keek and you had Bart over there. Then you got the Loons. You got me and Numb over there. Yeah. You know what I mean? So he had all the dope niggas all tapped yeah. in and fucking with it, fucking with each other, period. So that, that movement was crazy, my nigga, because you got all the top niggas in the Bay under one umbrella rocking with each other. Look at how many fans that you done yeah. 
You know what I mean? And got all up under. They are fucking with the whole movement. Shout out Diggs, everybody. Diggs got out of jail, got right into it. You know what I mean? So yeah, everybody was wiggling, man. So yeah, the, the, the whole Thiz movement was was big because it was unified. It unified the whole bay. Like Thiz Latin, they had the Frisco niggas. My nigga Gold Toes had all the, you know what I mean? The Mexican line going heavy. It was just a big movement. It felt like some shit like a, like a Cash Money Records or a No Limit. That's what it felt like when, when J Dre was doing his thing with the Thiz Entertainment. Yeah, because when we got the wave up here, I think uh, Mac Dre had, you know, he had passed and all that. Mm -hmm. And uh, that's a piece of Mac Dre. It seemed like so many artists had blossomed from that from movement. That, it's too many. Yeah. Everybody, like er the whole bay, everybody blossomed. Yeah. Everybody that was with that, with that whole fucking umbrella blossomed, bro. Everybody. Yeah. Like, you get Mr. Fab from that. Right. Like, man, you, Mr. Fab blew up in the, in the Thiz, you know what I mean? Like, and Fab been rapping, but we didn't hear about him until you saw fuck with Dre. Heavy, like the big fab, you know what I mean? So it was a beautiful thing. So it was a beautiful least. thing yeah. for the whole bay. Everybody leveled up fucking with Dre and fucking with Digital Underground. Period. They both helped everybody.